Hey guys, what's good? So, as you may already know, 3D printing is really great for making parts that might be difficult to find off the shelf or not exist at all. I used this to my advantage recently to make 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch tubing adapters, which are normally pretty rare and somewhat expensive, and 1 16th inch to 1 16th inch adapters, which basically aren't manufactured by anyone. While I was at it, I made a bunch of other adapters. I made a 1 8 inch to 1 8 inch, 1 4 inch to 1 4 inch, and a 1 8 inch to 1 4 inch. The connectors on the adapters are barbed, making it super easy to connect and disconnect tubing. Now, with some of these, especially the smaller ones such as the 8 inch to 16 inch and the 16 inch to 16 inch, you'll need to tweak some settings to make sure they print well. The easiest way to get a better result with smaller prints is to lower your layer height in order to increase your print resolution. Another tip out there for printing small is to lower your hot end temperature. However, you will not want to do this for these parts as lowering the temperature makes it more likely for there to be tiny cracks in between layers that could allow air to escape. Not good. I did some digging and found an interesting tip from the RepRap community of turning your fan speed up to the maximum and raising the hot end temperature by a bit. This method allows for the plastic to be less viscous and therefore create a better seal with the layer below it without impacting the fine details of the print. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll have the Thingiverse and Umagine pages for these adapters linked in the description. If you like this video, then you should know what to do, and if you want to let me know what you thought of it, please leave a comment. I'll catch you later, XYZ Aiden, out.